Welcome to episode 54 of Nobody Special. On this episode, we're talking about Girl Scout cookies and heroin. Also, we're talking about sharing your faith and how apparently nobody does that. The Gospel Post presents Nobody Special. Hey everyone, welcome to Nobody Special, to Nobody Talking About the Somebody Who Matters. I'm Caleb, one of your hosts of Nobody Special. And I'm Danny, the Academy Award apathist of Nobody Special. Uh, this is a podcast of two people trying to find God in pop culture, politics, and everything in between, and all mm-hmm. while not taking it too very seriously. Yep, uh, yep, sometimes yep. we push the boundaries of that. I think um, we've had a couple episodes back-to-back that have been a little bit harder to find the humor in yeah i think we found god in it well uh, yeah, we covered yeah. like racism and then i was like what did we talk about last week an... besides our sad dating life <laughs> did we actually talk about that i don't even remember that one yeah remember? but did we oh we did talk about that yes, see i blocked that out immediately uh yeah, caleb i'm uh, sorry for life <laughs> the academy awards had been on a couple days ago did you tune in what Academy Awards? Like the Oscars? That already happened? Yeah, did you watch? <laughs> no. Yeah, me neither. So anyway, um, we have a couple of things we want to talk about today. Uh, Actually, on a serious note, <laughs> I was only... I didn't watch them, but there's only one thing that I cared about, and that was that... The it, opening monologue from the host. Uh, yes, exactly. Yep. No. <laughs> was that I wanted... Free Solo to get the best documentary because it is the best documentary. It's freaking good, and oh, it that's won. That so movie, yeah. yeah. So okay. rock climbing, really, really good documentary. I do recommend it. Um, and since we're on a Christian podcast, yes, there's some language, and also yes, it is the most terrifying movie you will ever see if you're afraid of heights. And especially if you're gonna oh, watch it yeah. in IMAX. Pass. <laughs> yeah. Not gonna not but, gonna watch it. Yeah, and, and that one, so that's all I care about. But okay. it doesn't really matter because the Oscars suck. So I mean it's just Yeah. <laughs> yeah, moving yeah. on though. Yeah, I didn't watch it. <laughs> I don't know. I caught a I, I tried to catch some of the news on it and then I was just like, I don't care about any of the movies in there either. So all right, yeah. so you know this isn't on our notes, but I, I want to talk about it a little bit just because I thought it was a little funny. Not funny. Funny is not the right word. I need to be careful how I open this up because I know the thing I'm about to say, and it's going to sound really bad. Um, the Momo Challenge. Now, oh, let me just... We're talking about this? Yeah. We're introing with this? Here's the deal. No. I, first of all, <laughs> that thing's creepy, and I just got to say it. It's this creepy thing. That it, it's it's an app. They this have an girl app with big eyes and in in a small body. I mean, it's fake. It's clearly fake. Yeah, it it's looks, creepy. It looks really demonic, though. Yeah. So don't look yeah. at it. Yeah. If so you haven't seen it, do yourself a favor and don't see it. <laughs> it's this. It's this app slash challenge. You know, called the Momo Challenge or something. I don't know. Mm-hmm. That gives um, kids challenges to basically functionally kill themselves. Um, Wow. And so, so the only cause that I'm bringing this up is that um, the county uh, uh, kind of sheriff's office they tweeted out multiple warnings about parents and the Momo challenge. Like parents, be cautious. There's a new thing going around called the Momo challenge. And I, all right, here's okay. All right, you shouldn't kill yourself. <laughs> like I don't know how else to say that. Yeah. Um, I think as far as this goes, first of all, this thing is over a year old. Mm-hmm. It's very old. Yeah, it's been around for a while. Everybody knows about this thing and knows it's a prank and not a good prank either. It's creepy, but it's a prank. So, um, dead air. <laughs> but it's funny. I don't know. Like it's it's dark humor. I know. I was, I was trying to find another way to say that. Like, it's dark talking? humor. It's dark humor. It's not appropriate humor, but it's, it, you know, there has only been one case of death out of the Momo challenge because yeah. no one takes this thing. No one takes it serious. It's kind of the same thing as the blue whale challenge that you have to 
carve a blue a whale into a person's arm. Don't do that. Hey, if if there yeah. is a, a a thought towards any kind of self harm or anything else, you know, don't do that. If, find somebody that is a professional. Talk to a professional. All that. But also, no one did the blue whale challenge. No one did it. And the one person who died from this was probably just happened to be watching it while they slipped and fell. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't say that. <laughs> That's really. I'm walking I, I, the line. Caleb's just uh, skipping right over it. No, I mean, all right. So, so, so a few stories have come out. The parents are finding stuff on their kids, a uh-huh. YouTube kids account. L- uh, ple- please. I, I don't think I can ever overstate this. I think I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. Um, when you give someone unrestricted access to the internet mm-hmm. and don't um, manage them, mm-hmm. check them, they're going to find some stuff. I mean, it's <laughs> like, think of everything on the internet that is inappropriate or bad. Right. Hand that to a child. <laughs> like, I don't get this. Here's an iPad, boy. <laughs> it's it's all all these parents. I don't know. These are the thing. I can say this as an adult who doesn't have parents, but I've had to talk to a lot of parents. And I don't know how many parents. Who does not have parents. Who uh, doesn't have kids. What I say? You, <laughs> you said you didn't have parents. I was like, yes, I'll never did. grow up. Um, <laughs> that was a Peter Pan reference. Anyway, um, as someone who doesn't have kids but has talked to many parents. Mm-hmm. In it, most of the time, and and to any parents out here, hey, everybody out here, that is the first a ministry that God gives to people is to their kids, to their home. That's their first a ministry. So, I'm gonna try and say this in an empowering manner, and just forgive whoever comes out. If there's ever a question of somebody needs to do something about that, that somebody is you. And I just want to be like, hey, don't give your six-year-old access to YouTube kids. Like, to YouTube kids. Do you know how they created YouTube kids? They just slapped a kid's logo on it. (laughs) Basically, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, it's uh, um, a math equation to their non-age-gated content. Mm -hmm. So if a thing isn't age-gated, it can get through. Interesting. That's it. <laughs> like, that's it. That's it. <laughs> the standards are so colossally low. I don't know. I was just, I was I was going through this, and someone on Facebook, a friend of mine, he, he put down a thing that, it was a little sassy, but I 100% agree with him on. It's like, hey, parents, maybe don't erase your kids by way of computer algorithm. And I'm yeah. like, that's the nerdiest friggin' thing I've ever heard, but it's hilarious and true. Yeah. Don't. Jeez. Don't. Trust, but check. I mean, you know. I don't even think your kid needs an iPad. Just give them a, just give them a Wii. All right, give them a good old Wii or a Nintendo Switch, and they'll be entertained for days. Yeah, but with even good those, entertainment. I mean, are, are, but even those have YouTube on them. I don't know. Like, the mm, there I mean, were not in the Nintendo Switch. I thought it had internet on it. Well, it has internet on it, but it doesn't have like. It doesn't have internet browser. It has like Hulu. But if you don't download I'm it, almost and it has it very good, and no, no, it doesn't. Uh, not that I know of, at least. Hmm. And I know that well, they wanted to add it. Good boy. But and it has really good parent like restriction capabilities. Right. I mean, like, because Nintendo. I mean, that's what it's like built for. Unless you're like me, still playing. Yeah. Dis- Nintendo. <laughs> okay. Disagree. All right. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> that's a phenomenal system, but um. No, I just think, you know, the best built-in parental controls are parents. I agree. I just don't enjoy that my kids have been playing Xbox for eight hours. Well, take it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't You're know how the to one say that, that. It. Take it. He Even don't have he a did job. Buy it, he I doesn't mean. have a job. <laughs> yeah, he's 16. He doesn't own anything. I don't like that he does it. So stop him. Yeah. I don't know. I was watching Dr. Phil clips too, so this is, might be part of it. Gosh. <laughs> so, no, there's a. <laughs> sorry, this is funny, and then we can actually get to it. There's a clip. <laughs> this kid, his mom let him play like Fortnite for like 20 hours straight or something. What? It, yeah, it, it was insane. The kid has um, an attitude yeah, and he needs glasses. <laughs> and, and his a mom just totally caves in. But the funniest part is that. 
as he gets hungry, he'll scream out, peasant, bring me a plate. It shall do it. And I was like, that's your first problem right there. What? <laughs> yeah. Now, imagine saying Some peasant to your mom. Some of y'all don't agree mom. with spanking kids, but spank that kid. <laughs> I think it's biblical. I think it is, too. Is it? I don't know. I it's in there saying. somewhere. <laughs> yeah. It's in the back. Go ahead. No. <laughs> it's in the glossary. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's in the index. You know where the over. maps are? You know, yeah. in fine print underneath one of the maps. It was actually spank your children. <laughs> it was actually part of Paul's third missionary journey. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, because they always have the maps of Paul's missionary journey. Oh, yeah, yeah. And those have never helped me at all. Have those ever been helpful? No. He went here. Uh, okay, I still don't know geography. Like, <laughs> I still don't know. I have no idea where I've we are in the world. Never been good. This geography. isn't America, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, and it doesn't help that the whole country, you know, the primary country is only about the size of New Jersey. I mean, yeah. like, it's not big. So it's just this focused in part I mean, of the map. A day walk to another town is really good, if we're being honest. Yeah. Here. We live in Jacksonville. Yeah, a day walk to the next neighborhood. <laughs> right. And you probably don't want to go there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, So, no, uh, thanks for t- tuning in to Nobody Special. I was just laughing at stuff on the internet. I actually did get into multiple fights on the internet this week. Oh, my gosh. Hey, they... St- no, I can't even say they started Why? it. I Why? picked this fight. Pause. Are you going to f- pick it back up? Farting? I never I'm like, farting. I never in. There we go. Oh, it's perfectly focused. Okay. I, I never checked focus. And I was like, huh. But I remember it like being slightly sharp. So I Where were we in this? Off. Hold on. You said you were got in a Facebook argument. Yeah. Friggin' it's way too dark. Okay, 1413. Okay. 1430. Friggin', friggin' oh. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Where should I pick back up? You were talking about your Facebook argument. What was the last thing I said? said? He started it, all right? Or something like that. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, so he started... I got... (laughs) I got into a few Facebook fights over the past couple days. Um, I would try and say they started it, but to be honest, uh, I did. I picked that fight, and yeah. um, no, they it was. I I don't get into it on the podcast, but it was a theological issue mm. that they were trying to like. Mm. It's just a sad day for the church. I mean, no, the church upheld biblical orthodoxy. You can blow it out your rear end, um, and I kind of. Said something to all right. Here's the deal: they were Methodists, and and the Methodists they were um, debating inclusion of LGBT clergy and redefining a marriage to include LGBT marriage, mm-hmm. and they stuck to the traditional plan and kept to their traditional style of no to both of those. Yeah, because that's biblical orthodoxy. So I posted a thing. I posted a thing because you, you know they're trying to say it's about inclusion for people that interpret scripture different and blah blah blah. And I was like, okay, yeah. <laughs> sounds like garbage to me. Um, so I said, from what I can tell, hashtag GC nineteen or General Conference nineteen. It was a hashtag only a Methodist could understand. Uh, is is debating on whether scripture is actually authoritative and if they truly believe it's good news. <laughs> so like it was, li- it was um, in theological mm-hmm. phrasing, very, very harsh. <laughs> yeah. Cause I essentially, I was accusing some people of being godless and abandoning Orthodox faith. Oops. Sorry, not sorry. So, um, Jeez. so they, they, um, <laughs> they also, they got upset. A uh, one person he had the stones to disagree, mm-hmm. and I didn't engage that because I said the thing I need to say. I made the point I need to make, and he countered it. I still fully disagree, but props to him on being brave enough to do that. Now, granted, I disagree with him fully, 
on that stance. His stance is poor from a biblical interpretational perspective. And I know... Uh, Can you put up some screen clips? Some screenshots? No, because of... it has the emoji with the... No, it doesn't. <laughs> um, no, because it makes me look like a terrible human. No, it doesn't. No, so, so, so the other part of that, that um, it was just a thing I was chuckling to myself the whole day. Oh, yeah, because I got a ton of people giving me the frowny face on Facebook, and that literally does not affect me at all. I felt frowny nothing. Face. Yeah, instead of pressing the like button... You can hold it down and, and, and press a sad crying button, and I got like eight of those. Oh, on your um, comment? Yeah. Uh. So, but it turns out that does nothing to me inside. Like, I'm almost numb to it. I'm a little bit concerned, to be honest. Um, but the other part that I was chuckling about the entire time is that that particular quote... And and the phrasing mm-hmm. is from Sam Albury. Do you know who Sam Albury is? No. He's an Episcopalian pastor in England who identifies as same s- sex attracted, uh, uh, but has chosen to instead be identified by Christ and the biblical definition of a marriage. He actually just put a book out on the gift of being a uh, s- single person because if he mm-hmm. has... romantic feelings towards men but is choosing to follow christ then guess what he has the gift of singleness yeah (laughs) and 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 he's all about it and it's the best book on that i'm actually going to pick it up because it's amazing but to quote (laughs) to quote sam albury in that particular context Uh i gotta be honest i was giggling about it all day because it made me very you know their argument is inclusive for lgbt and I was just saying, it's like, I just quoted a man, same sex attracted, and then you disagreed with him. So there goes your inclusion. I don't know. It made me, it, I put an Easter egg in my own Facebook comment and felt really good about it. Yeah. I've had a long week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it's been a long week. How's your week? My week has been, it's tiring. I don't yeah. even know what yeah. happens or what. It, uh, yeah. What did I even do this week? <laughs> what day is it? That's literally what I asked yeah. you. I can't even know. Thur- I was like, what Thursdays, day? I, I hope- know I'm supposed to be here, and I know we record on Thursdays, but what day is it? No, I feel you. Um, uh, uh, to all our specialers, is that what we're calling them? Our specialers? I hate that, but we can call them that okay. for one episode. We'll change it for do. next episode. Uh, Caleb and I are just crazy tired, and we're probably going to go on a lot of tangents tonight, and that's fun. Yep. But that's better than our first plan, which was to just play Tetris for an hour and not even tape anything. Hey. I thought which we were Which we still tape. might do. You know, like we might <laughs> still <laughs> crack out the new Super Mario. That, and that should be. We need to do special episodes. From like, like time to time. Don't you dare talk to me about special episodes. But I'm saying I have peed in this kiddie pool of special Whoa. episodes. Whoa. No, I want to do the jogging episode, and you said no. I know, but we should do like a theme special episode. Yeah. Where, what if we played yeah, that video theme is games? Both of us are tired and jogging. I think what that'd if be we hilarious. Both played video games. Okay. While trying to do a podcast. We have enough trouble focusing without It'd video games. You'd be a train wreck. That's the that's the point. Choo choo. <laughs> uh, the other idea, I I I I wanted to see if it was possible to like. Well, all right, I had this idea before other people did it. Uh huh. I wanted to go to an escape room. How would that even work? Game Logs. Grumps did it. Oh gosh! It was like, darn it, <laughs> darn it. I'm glad. Yeah, could. I don't think they're so keen on people taping in there either because it's yeah. literally a puzzle. <laughs> so That's true. Yeah. It kind of ruins it. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, we have... <laughs> we <laughs> If you have special episode ideas... Mm-hmm. Gosh, I don't even... No. I'm so... Put them. List them. Mm-hmm. We might do it. We might... But we also might not do it. There's a we'll 100% see. chance that we will and 100% chance that we won't. Therefore... What? It that doesn't can't, make sense. That's not how chance works. I just, I'm tired, all right? That's not how chance works. Hey, depends on your idea. It's Schrodinger's idea. We will both yeah, do it and not go. do it until it arrives. That's so, true. Until uh, we open this box, then we won't know. Well, it's possible that we'll be able to give it a chance. Is the cat really dead if you don't know it's dead? I mean, yeah. Well, who said? If you don't know it's dead, then how do you... 
because how is it? What if it's alive though? My knowledge of something isn't predicated on sorry, a truth of something isn't predicated on my knowledge of that thing. I I still it, I know, but you're it, saying it's dead when it could be alive. Listen, though. I said giving it a chance. We'll give these ideas a chance. So clearly, I'm segueing into our next topic that l- literally has giving it a chance as the title. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to segue. A chance. <laughs> Speaking. I'm the killer of segways. I take a shotgun and I put it to segways head. Speaking of giving it a chance, I put it to Paul Blart's head. <laughs> oh wait, no. That's. What movie did you see? Anyway, he rides a segway. All right. Oh, I'm tired. Gotcha. Speaking of giving <laughs> things a chance, we're not even speaking of giving things a chance anymore. All right. So there's a story came out. Uh-huh. Um. All right, there was a guy, I, I want to say North Carolina. I don't know. I didn't do a whole lot of research into that aspect of it because that's not the fun aspect of it. So this guy goes and buys a box of Girl Scout cookies. Yes. And um, he comes back after a few minutes and goes, it's cold out, girls. He gives them like $560, buys all the Girl Scout cookies. Whoa. And, and tells them, it's time to come in out of the cold. It's a cold day. Let's go inside. And social media goes nuts over this because, I mean, to be honest, mm-hmm. There's that positive story we all really need right now. Yeah. Because we keep turning on the dumpster fire of TV. And it's, it's the dumpster fire that keeps... I've been calling this a, dump, a dumpster fire ever since this podcast started. Yep. And dumpster fires occasionally go out. But this one just keeps on burning, Caleb. It just keeps on burning. So it was this, it was this <laughs> positive story of a man... Who's supporting Girl Scouts and buying delicious, delicious cookies? What a nice guy! What a great guy! But knowing this world, what an what amazing is the twist? guy! <laughs> What's the twist? People here? hailed him as great. He posed for pictures. Turns out, something juicy lays underneath this guy's N- mask. No, I'm I'm gonna see where you're going with this. Go <laughs> I ahead. I don't know where I'm going. Um, I am literally just rambling. So it turns out it was like two to three days after this, uh-huh. this man gets arrested by the DEA. <gasps> yes. I'd like to read the following charges. Keep in mind, this man bought $560 of Girl Scout cookies on a whim. Which, by the way, if I could get to a point of spending $500 Only a drug on, dealer can on a whim. Yeah. <laughs> uh, conspiracy to possess... With intent to distribute controlled substances, conspiracy to import controlled substances, conspiracy to commit bulk cash smuggling for a lot of money, uh, yeah. interstate oh travel gosh. and transportation in aid of drug trafficking business, possession with intent to distribute and distribution of heroin, uh, maintaining a drug involved premise, conspiracy to structure transactions to evade. R- 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 uh, well, yeah, two to to not turn in. Sorry, and three counts of unlawful use of a communication facility. Wow! So, turns out this hero <laughs> who wanted to get who wanted to just help out the Girl Scouts and get them out of the cold, right? Was smuggling heroin from Mexico. Interesting. So naturally, everyone's really confused about this because they just praise this man as the kind of person our culture needs right now. <laughs> and then he's the very man who's tearing Slug- apart culture. <laughs> this starts smuggling heroin in. They, like, it's kind of funny, all right? I think this is it just... It is. Heroin's not a joke. We have laughed at some really messed up stuff today. Yes. Um, heroin's no joke. Heroin's messed up don't do drugs like i'm just gonna say these things i feel these strongly i've actually never been offered drugs which is weird you've never been offered drugs no i have that one time sorry that one time i didn't know the guy say the story huh say the story i didn't know the guy it It was just a guy i was walking back from Publix. i'm just a guy and and he was handing me something and i because I was 32 at the time, or 33, I, I don't have a script for this. It's never come up. And so I just said, I'm on the phone. But I, I wasn't even on the phone. I didn't even have headphones in. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm on the phone right now. 
And I'm like, what? he must, yeah, it was not. He was like, oh, no, that guy's already that got guy's a supply. So weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crazy, but that man's weird. No, so, so this guy, though, uh, people, you know, they praised him at, at, as this person our community needs um, right. based on a five second interaction uh, on, in a social media posting. Let's compare and contrast that to the kids from Covington High School. Based on a five-second social media posting and a red hat, people automatic kind of assumed that this kid is the spawn of Satan himself, um, and and that he he he's a racist and smug because he was smiling. Kids shouldn't be smiling. Mm-hmm. Kids should have the hope choked out of them by the age of fifteen, which it feels low. <laughs> um, I would say seventeen, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like by that point, no. So so. It's it, it's this trend I picked up on over and over that I'm I, I'm interested in on thoughts on mm-hmm. of just taking small amounts of information on a social media posting or even not opening an article and just getting the tag to it and just jumping to a conclusion here. Right. All right. So 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 how you know this kind of stuff I think is tearing our country apart. What drug trafficking? No. Well, I mean, yes, but like, <laughs> no. Also, I mean, yes, also, though, this quick to judgment. I would say, I would say their judgment isn't wrong. I think that they worded it incorrectly. In which case, I brought up two the drugs, the hat thing, because the hat thing turned out to be just like crazy wrong. What hat thing? Covington High School. I don't know. But, anyways. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. The, no, the kids from Covington High School who, who Nathan, who who were, have you not followed the story? I cannot think of the kid's name. No. You've not followed the story at all. No, I don't know what he's what suing you're about. the media basically. I don't care. <laughs> oh my gosh! I mean, not the story. Okay. All right. Anyways, all right. no. Well, basically, we're I, I think that. Is this man a hero? No. And is this what the is this the type of person the world needs? Uh, no, obviously because he's a drug dealer. But I think that the way that it should have been worded is like, and I think the way that we need to be careful is all of us should know by now that there is no good person under the sun. All right, and that includes me, you, yeah. and everybody. So, right. I mean, basically, I think that we can have good acts. I do think that, that was a good act. I think that could Absolutely. have been genuine. Absolutely, yeah. Genuine. I mean, like, I'm sure just because you're a drug dealer doesn't mean you can't be a nice guy. Does it mean you are focused on money mm-hmm. more than some people? Yes. But, I mean, I think that the, it was a very good act, and I think that it could have been genuine. Right. And I think it was coming from a good place. Is this the type of person we need? Obviously not, because he's a drug dealer. Um, well, or drug well, but trafficker. I, yeah, drug trafficker. It's much worse. <laughs> yeah. I, also a dealer. Uh, no, but I, th- I think part of the problem is this idea that a person is deemed good or not good based on their actions. And right. I, you know, it's even the, the whole thing about LGBT clergy and all that is, is, is they've committed the biblical, I'd call it a heresy, of identifying a person to their actions, and that, and and that is, and it 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 flies in in the face of grace in the cross. Mm-hmm. I'm not defined by my actions, and right. so, but people keep picking up on these stories and these snippets of a story and judging to, or sorry, rushing to judgment, and I think that's you know honest it is is hurting our integrity as even Christians mm-hmm. uh, to do. Uh, uh, this kind of thing, right? It, because it doesn't give space to have grace. Mm-hmm. Leave space for grace. The t-shirts are coming soon. <laughs> no, Gosh. but I mean, <laughs> so you know, this guy who gets arrested for international drug trafficking. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have to concede at some point, although I condemn his actions straight out. There is grace for this man. Yeah. And I think that's really troublesome for people. Mm-hmm. Especially because it's heroin. Heroin's a messed up drug. I mean, it, yeah, it's, it's messed up. Is there any drug that isn't messed up? <laughs> they're, they're all messed up. Heroin's definitely messed up. Yeah. I mean, 
Just like any other drug. <laughs> Can you, I mean, you know. I think some drugs are more messed up than others. It's confirmed. Danny smokes marijuana. <laughs> I do. N- I've never. I don't even know where to get it. Hmm? I really don't. You don't know where to get it? No, that I don't. sounds like someone playing dumb. No, I actually don't know where to get it. Gotcha. <laughs> where are we going with this? I don't know. Like, where are you? Once again, I'm tired. Please just. No, but you're here now. Am I here? Hey, hey, hold on a second. Caleb, Caleb. Yes. Caleb. Yes, Danny. Get it together. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> No, I, I just think, why is it important to split a person's identity and the, the thing that they are, or sorry, the thing that they do and the thing that they are? Um, say that again. <laughs> why is it important to differentiate between a person's identity and a person's actions? I think it's important because people... People, especially, okay, just, I'm going to dive straight in on the Christian perspective of this. Well, yeah. Um, And that's, if you're a Christian, your identity is found in Christ, and that doesn't mean all of your actions follow. I mean, that's the process of sanctification. Right, absolutely. Where eventually, like, the goal is that most of you, I don't think, I, is it? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm wondering like if it's possible to be perfectly sanctified until before we get to heaven. But I personally, I would say no. Yeah, I would say no too. Um, I know other people would say otherwise, but I, I, I think there are. I see, and I'm even hesitant to say this. I think some are closer than others, but at the same time, people have struggles we don't even know about. I mean, I don't. That's know. That's what I'm saying. Is like so. our identity is found in Jesus. Mm-hmm. And our actions are just completely separated. I mean, like, right. and that's the that's the gospel right there. Is right. that Jesus died on the cross for to cover our sins, and that we are given His righteousness and His perfect, perfect life. Right and. That that covers our sins. Absolutely. Does that mean we don't sin right now, though? And I mean, no. That's like that's the thing sure. that was, gets tricky. I mean, I'm trying to. I'm so tired, but I'm like yeah. trying to watch my wording too. And it's yeah. really well, hard. Well, it's it's. <laughs> but it's that's what I'm saying. Is our identity is is now severed from mm-hmm. our actions, which used to define us. But I think. Sure. But it's 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 cool because at the end. It's, it isn't even that you, you know, my actions are, are cleaned out, although they are. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I am sanctified by the blood of Jesus Christ, but that the works of Christ are attributed to me and the body of Christ. Mm-hmm. So it isn't even that I'm not judged based on the, the, the bad stuff I've done. Although that is true, I'm not judged on the bad stuff I've done, but I'm judged on the good act that Christ did, and right. that's even stronger. And and I think the, um, I've I've heard a few pastors preaching this and you know different sermons, podcasts that uh, you know, the culture at this point is is edging us all closer to conflict by m- making these snap judgments, mm-hmm. and that as as Christians are. Our stance needs to be a solid kind of a foundation of Christ, of grace, and that all people are created in the in the image of God, and and part of the image of God means I extend grace to a person that I know nothing about, yeah. or I extend grace to a person that doesn't earn it because they bear the image of God. You know, this guy, I'm not I'm not claiming drug dealing is good or okay. Right. I'm condemning that straight out, and if that isn't clear, I don't know what to tell you. Drug dealing is bad. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now that's out of the way. I can still love this man, and in an honest understanding, I can still go that this thing is good mm-hmm. and this thing is bad, Right. but neither of them define him. Yeah. 
I don't know. So I I think I, I was I was I was actually thinking about this a bit. This gets easier to do if I stop trying to focus on other people and focus on me first. I think this is one of the few cases that it's easier to understand if I focus on me cuz there's plenty of things I do mm-hmm. that I hope don't define me. Mm-hmm. That I am Certainly not going to say on this podcast they are for text messages between me and my accountability partner and a couple others that I struggle through a couple of things Mm -hmm. and they don't define me. There are real consequences for them and I'm not going to downplay that, but it doesn't define me. Danny might as well just say it. He smokes weed. That's just again. We're back here and I don't know why we're here. I've never, I've never smoked a cigarette. Me neither. Yeah, but like, I've been able to do it for a while. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I definitely get what you're saying, and that's like, that's what's so. I mean, when you talk about like, oh, you know, like he's a good guy or he's a hero, right. like you got to be careful. I think even with your definition, right. by my definition of. Oh, is he a good guy? Like, if we're truly saying, is he a good right. guy? I couldn't say that anyone on this earth is a good guy. Right. Like, I wouldn't say that about yeah. myself. I wouldn't I say mean, that about you. I wouldn't say that about literally anyone. Because well, easy, I though. know that we are totally <laughs> deprived. I mean, and De- that is... Depraved. Deprived. Depraved? That is not how you say that. Yeah, it is. Okay. Nope. We're pulling it out. We're going to get Google to say this, or Siri, or whoever. Hey, Siri, how do you say deprived? I mean, that's a word, but it's not the correct word. Oh. Arabic, German, do you mean total Spanish. depravity? Do you mean total depravity? Deprived. Depravity. Total deprived. depravity. Now, deprived is a word. It's a word. It's not the right word. He gets like if this I'm when wrong, he's tired. I'll admit that I'm wrong. That but would, I don't think that, that I'm would wrong be a currently. first. <laughs> no, it's a word. Isn't that the same word, though? I don't think so. I think it's depraved. Suffering a severe and damaging lack of basic material and cultural benefits. Yeah, as in, deprived. I don't have food. I'm deprived, deprived. of food. All right, and now Google depraved. No, we all know how to depraved. pronounce it. It's not a pronunciation degree. Oh, my gosh. Hey, if you're tuning into the audio <laughs> section, you're probably not hearing yeah. this part because I'm. it's hitting the cutting room floor. <laughs> Whatever. Well, however you say it, basically, we I are broken. Depraved. We are broken, and basically, mm-hmm. there isn't anyone who isn't, so... Mm-hmm. That sounds right. really dumb, but right. it makes sense, yes. right? All right, all right. Can I ask a question though? It is an honest question. I'm not fishing for anything here. Um, I I know personally, I need days of just a person telling me I'm not a colossal piece of garbage and I'm a good man. And now I understand total depravity mm-hmm. or total depravity, however you no, want no, to no. say. No, no, total depravity. I I, I think un- it's deprived. I understand that. <laughs> I I do get that. What's a better way to say that to another person then? Because I'm I'm you know, I even have a, a couple of people I'm trying to yeah, encourage I say, them because I I do think no, deep we need down, encouragement. Yeah. I mean Yeah, well I'm don't I'm, I'm trying to encourage them but not tie it to their actions. That they are good because of the Christ in them and to persevere in that right but not tie it to their actions and i need to say that in like four words yeah that's like that is tricky i mean because Mm -hmm. yes your actions are what you know cause the brokenness but Uh that is not your identity right and that is the tricky part so how do i tell a person they're a good man i would say (laughs) you said four words Four words. That's like a challenge right there. I mean, like, small. Small. I can't text a person, hey, uh, uh, despite uh, the inability to do anything other than sin, I think that there is a God who can do stuff with you. You want to communicate that you are a good person 
but not correlated to your actions. Right. Yeah. And if I it's 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 complimenting a person and putting a caveat on it at the end. Yeah. It never <laughs> works. It's it's like Hey, Caleb, you're a good person. Except for your actions. <laughs> Caleb, I think that kind of despite the face, that you're a good looking man. I mean, just like that. It doesn't, if I have to caveat it, Dang. it's not. Danny, that's like the one, that's the number one thing I struggle with. You just hit me. I thought it was Shakes those me. big ears. You don't even have big ears. I don't know. Just... I have normal size ears. You I, actually I don't do. know, actually. Well, anyway. You have big ears. I'm just kidding. No, I do. It's fine. <laughs> you do not have big ears. I can't see them. Anyway, go ahead. So, how do <laughs> I, no, me. like, honest question, though. Um, okay. How can I be better at trying to I encourage mean, yeah, other in the proper men like, in their manhood, but also not tying it together? I mean, there's a pastor that said, um, don't ever tell a kid that you're disappointed in, in them because that's condemnation and there isn't condemnation in Jesus Christ. And, and I hadn't thought about that. And I was just kind of thinking, like, yeah, okay, because people are mm. very sinful, and if they are, then how am I disappointed in a person if they did the, the, the thing that I thought they were actually going to do because they're still growing in their connection to Christ? Oh, my gosh. So are we supposed to view people like God views us? Let me ask you that I, first. I, I would say yes. Yeah, I would agree with that. And, and I'd say probably the person, it's, I mean, just to be honest, the person I struggle doing that the most to is me. Oh, I thought you were about to say me. No, <laughs> like, absolutely yeah. not. No, it's me. It is 100% me. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. I would say so. I'm way I'm harsher so on too. me than anybody else will ever be. People yeah. have insulted, and it was it was just... It doesn't do anything, because I've said so much terrible things to myself. It just bounces off like, that's not even creative, you know? Like, but... Uh, try saying this, it'll hurt more. I actually did tell someone that at one point. Gosh. It's really disarming to give them an insult to send back. They don't know what to do. They're like, are you helping me? I'm like, yeah, because you're bad at this. Yeah. But as that goes, I would say a good way to put it, I'm just going to completely move through this without even thinking about what I'm about to say. We'll oh, see how this no. Goes. This is cutting this room is floor. Warm up. Here we go. <laughs> you are... We Damn. made it. We did it. <laughs> uh, but I love you anyway. <laughs> Sincerely. Caleb Clue. Caleb Clue. <laughs> um, but I would say like a good way to put it is you are righteous because of your identity in Christ. And that is the only thing that matters. <laughs> it's really bad. Yeah. But once again, I'm... It lacks that encouraging part that I'm looking for, you know? I don't know. I, I think you don't want to lie. You don't want to be like, hey. Everything you do is great. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're just so great. But Even I mean, that, I still think saying that sometimes is okay, yeah. too. I mean, it has to be. Everyone needs a cheerleader. I don't know. Everyone needs you a cheerleader. You are great. Yeah. No, I mean, you know, there are... Uh, is it possible? <laughs> is this There are a couple of, uh, of people I'm thinking of that I do try and affirm them because they're growing up into a men and they mm-hmm. n- a, a need other men to, to help them out in that. And I'm always trying to build them up beyond their actions. Right, and it, it's a difficult thing to do, and and anytime that they do a good thing, I try and praise that because, you know, you should do that. Like it, if I praise it, they'll do it more, because people enjoy being praised. This but is part of it. if they're doing it because they're being praised, is are they really doing it for the right action? Because if you're not doing it for God, then is it really for God? We can grow towards that. <laughs> is it at really some point. a good I thing? Mean, <laughs> Well, I I think that's part of the disciple aspect. Of that is, it is, is, is spending tricky. time. Yeah, I really have never thought about yeah. this to be honest. <laughs> I mean, I mean, because I do think that they are a good a man, and 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 to be honest, I and I know I've texted this over to even, well, yeah, to I've texted it to a lot of people, but I know Caleb's gotten it a couple of times just because I do think Caleb is a good a man, but it's because of Caleb's ability to bow before God. And, and out of that flows this biblical manhood that, to be honest, I'm really proud of, mm-hmm. um, because I've 
watched it grow out of this really shy, awkward, buck tooth kid. Oh um, my gosh, it's I still have buck teeth. You so do I not. Have... You are a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. How do men compliment each other? Is that <laughs> that's is not that the way it? to do Darn it. it. <laughs> um, you are a beef jerky. I don't know. Gosh. Anyway, anytime um, I like read one of those. And it's just true, and I feel like this is anytime like I get any sort of encouragement, it has always been hard for me. Yeah, the because, first thing you try and do is take a massive poop all over it. No, yeah, because Thanks like sin today. Inside, like, yeah, inside your head, you're like, if they only knew how right. crappy of a person I was. But we do. We know. <laughs> I yeah. You're not that's fooling what I'm any of the specialers. It's Again, true. we're really sorry about that name. We're gonna change it. I promise. That's. I mean, it's it's true though. I mean. But and I think that that that's where I think I think this is what it is. I think encouragement needs to come, and I think that you need to have like relational bank with someone so that they know. Like I think that you, they need to know that you you know that they are not perfect. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> but, okay, no, yeah. you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. They need to know that you know about their imperfection. Right. And when, so that when you compliment them, it's not correlated to, oh, it's that they think they it's me. Know. Yeah. It's, it's, it's that yeah. they know that it's because Christ mm-hmm. is working in me, not sure. because of me. I mean, to, to the couple of, of, of teens, I'm still kind of, um, encouraging in their faith and that kind of stuff. I've I've tried to communicate, and I haven't always been great at this, but I do try as as hard as I can to communicate that I am always going to appreciate them beyond their messed up stuff that they're even scared to talk about. Mm-hmm. Um, and and to me, that's you know that's been important. Right is 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 that they understand that if they come and speak this messed up, messed up stuff that I'm still going to be there and I'm not going any place. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and you know, there are people that they thought they could challenge that and 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 they said, hey, I, I talk about a thing and I'm just scared about this, this, this. And I was like, try me, let's go. Um, and boy, howdy, I'm going to be honest, wasn't prepared for some of it. <laughs> um, but it didn't change anything, though. Right, yeah. It, it, because... Yeah, I mean, even us have had awkward, honest conversations. Oh yeah. Um, but I, I stopped about it and thought, okay, I cared about him prior to this, but he had already done it. Mm-hmm. So, if he's already done it and I still cared about him, then my knowledge of that thing really shouldn't change it anyhow because he's already done it anyway. I mean, he's still the person that he had been. I just have other info. And granted, yeah. I can pray more specific, but at the same time, he hasn't changed. I've just come to a greater understanding. Right. And I think that's fine. So, and, and especially guys, and I know you know, girls are better at this. Girls build each other up. I know they also stab each other in the back a lot, but oh, no, totally. Every girl will back me up on that. I've seen Mean Girls. Um, yeah. Mean Girls is amazing. That is a. But one movie. thing I want to add to that, I think. Oh, crap. I forgot what I was going to say. Poop. Oh, poop. Yeah. That's two for you today. <laughs> yeah. Um, this episode's going to the floor. No one's going to see it or hear it. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm I think editing. it's important. I know what I'm going to say. I just forgot. You know? You know when that happens? Mm-hmm. I think... Uh, here. Here we go. I think that it is important. <laughs> it's important to... I thought I knew what I was gonna say. So, so we can. One skip of the this other thoughts I'm having is, guys have this idea of I have to go on my own because they're scared of people finding out stuff, and I think that type of a fear is killing us because mm-hmm. as guys, it is more important to be strong in community together and to actually stand up and fight. Because that drive is in us to protect, to 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 be out there, to be strong. That's in us. That's a part of us. That's been placed in there by God. And um, being scared or being in in fear is really detrimental to that. 
Yeah. Um, and, and I think part of that can also come out in an aspect of being able to share our faith. Um, Barna, for people who follow the news, Barna is a Christian research group. They do a, a bunch of solid studies, a ton of data. I'm all right, just full disclosure. Their data is amazing. Their data is fantastic. I've 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 opened a few of their studies. Their their standards are on point. Some of their mm-hmm. conclusions that they draw, I do tend to disagree on a bit. They tend to be a bit quasi anti institutional church, a bit to an extent. I mean, it's very subtle. So, yeah. sorry. They um. By the way, for the audio side of this. <laughs> I don't we had a plane fly by. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A plane flew over my yeah. head. Um, they, some of their conclusions I'll disagree on, but their data is on point. And uh, they just did a study, and they're asking Christians, and these are actual, uh, not just people that go, oh, I go to church, but people that could communicate the gospel. Practicing Christians. Yeah, practicing Christians about their evangelistic tendencies. And the, um, uh, the answers were kind of shocking um, to a, a, a good amount of people. So... Most of them agreed that, sorry, by most of them, I mean people my age, between 18 and 35, who are millennials. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about the millennials, but I'm not going to call them snowflakes or any of that because it's counterproductive to the whole conversation. Hmm? So, okay. Yes or no? We say two gens of people trying to find God in pop culture, politics, and everything in between. Technicality. We're both millennials. Now, I am on this end. I'm on the old You're end. Generation above me, though. I'm when not though. That's the thing. To, oh, I don't know. I guess I'm it on really. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the the upper crust. What's the point of this podcast? <laughs> We're shutting it down. Fifty five and done. This is the last episode. We're one generations of millennials who think it's all about us. We're snowflakes. Darn it! I said I wasn't going to do that. Yeah. No. Um. I'm on the older end. Caleb is on the bottom end. I mean, that's, you know, I don't... bottom. I'm yeah. kind of hanging on by a little thread. And I'm about to be pushed out the top. I mean, like, that's... <laughs> I, I Pushed out the top. I don't... T- to be honest, I don't You think I'm part of that generation. But that's... Nor does Annie more. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But I have to also concede... I'm not a part of this generation. <laughs> you know, like, I don't like the label of millennial, and that's the most millennial thing about me is I don't like the label of it. Um, <laughs> like, he's like, I don't put labels on things. Well, you should. Labels are important. I don't like labels. Yeah, then don't work in a kitchen, man. <laughs> I just... Like, that's my white girl voice. It's terrible, but... <laughs> That's what I think of. Anyway, <laughs> um, most of them, it's like 95% have said that Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to them. This is important. Good. Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to them. Okay. It's true. And that it's, it, it is important that other people come to an understanding and connection with Jesus Christ. They all agree on that. Mm-hmm. They also, uh, more than other, other groups of people, uh, I think they are better or or think they are great at being able to share their faith. Yeah. All right, so this is where this gets important. Overall, I think it's like 46% compared to 26% for baby boomers or Gen Xers, I think. Um, baby boomers. That is always such a weird term to me. Yeah. Well, do Does that you, mean they're you know like, where came from? Are they popping out babies? Yes. Boom, boom, boom? Yes. It's kids nice. born out of the great. <laughs> it, it's kids born out of and after the Great Depression. Ah, yeah. So all of like the old people now. No, um, like our parents, my parents. All the old people are. Um, so all the old people. N- <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. That was <laughs> that was um, way no, more all, aggressive. All the, <laughs> you know, all right. My grandparents, they. They'd been there through the twenties. It's 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 odd to think about this. They've been through hmm. World War Two. I mean, you know, they've been through that, the Great Depression. Okay. They've seen a lot of stuff. If a person the Great is a hundred, yeah, or out oh of that, gosh, they're just out true. of that. Yeah, yeah. If they're a hundred, you have a grandparent that's like ninety. Hundred. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, she's ninety. So that's impressive. Yeah, and 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 to think about everything they've been through is what keeps astounding. her going. Can I just ask that? Hmm? What do you think is Keeping her choo chooing. 
I don't want to answer this question right now. <laughs> I'm just going to pass on that one because I'm not going to go on the record as answering that. <laughs> um, we can talk about this yeah, after the that's podcast. Really, that's, you guys don't get to know. Sorry, if you subscribe to our Patreon, that episode will be on there. We don't have a Patreon. Um, yeah, get out of here. So, so, but, but compared to all of them, our age group uh-huh. d- doesn't think it is appropriate to evangelize according to data from Barna. Wrong. So this is a problem. I agree. <laughs> this, like this is a problem. What do you um, think Jesus meant when he ascended back into heaven? What do you think he said by What do you think he meant by Go unto or not unto. I'm trying to use like King James language. <laughs> because Christ spoke King James. Go to all the, the Lord's nations. The Lord's translation. And go into all the nations. And baptize. And go. How? You've said it so many times. <laughs> my brain has rejected the real wording now. All right. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. Therefore, go oh. into all n- nations and make mm. disciples. Uh, teaching them to obey everything. No, baptizing them in the name of the yeah. Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, he- and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded. Does he say Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Oh my God. I'm actually curious about that. I, well, I don't, I don't know I'm, anymore. I'm going to solve But anyways, while he's Teaching them to obey out. everything I've commanded, and surely I am with you always until the very end of this age. Yeah, make disciples means... How, how can you make a disciple... If you don't share your faith with someone. I mean, like, it's just, it's just true. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. Wow. Okay. First try. No, no, that's interesting. Because I've been having that conversation with someone I know on whether, what you're supposed to baptize. I believe that that is what you're supposed to baptize in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. But they, they say, like, we baptize you in the name of. Yeah, that's Jesus. in there also, just in another place. The best right. thing I've ever heard is, um, in Jesus' name, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's like, we're going to cover the bases. Um, <laughs> hey, I mean... It's like... It's, I'm, it's, I'm not against that. I don't it's care if really... I have to sneak you in my bag. We're getting you into heaven. You know, <laughs> like... You know, <laughs> get in the suitcase, right? Get in the suitcase. <laughs> just, we're really going to get you in. So... Gosh... <laughs> That's pretty no, good. Yeah. So no, I just um, yeah. I'm, I, this is a problem though. I mean, if I've I've I I was talking to a parent about this. Um, you know, they have a few a few kids in high school, mm-hmm. and and they had been talking about a faith or or uh, not even faith, but like going to church. And they had another person in the car, and their daughter. It's okay. They don't listen to this podcast. Uh, their <laughs> daughter. I'm going to use her name, Jennifer. No, it's not. Jennifer, come on. Come on, Jennifer. I'm trying to figure out if I know a Jennifer. You're totally deprived. <laughs> You're totally deprived. <laughs> no, deprived. I, Jennifer's a made-up name. But, you know, their kids had been getting on to them after. It's like, oh, my gosh, you can't talk to them about church, Mom. They don't go to church. Oh, it's so like, you know this yeah, happening. And- yeah, absolutely. No, no, this is common. Like, what? Mom, you can't talk to them about going to church. They don't go to church. That's why we're that's why we're doing it. That's why we're doing it. Like wait, 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 wait. Oh my goodness. So it's it's this idea of I can't be offensive or anything else. And 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 to be fair, I get that to an extent because so many old tweets are getting dug up and thrown in a person's face, and a Listen, smile is a misconstrued as hatred and racism. And a person you know, bought a whole bunch of cookies, and therefore they're the child of God. And I believe a there's a reason that. The in in the armor, you know, the the spiritual armor of God, that uh-huh. the sword is, you know, the Bible, and that's mm-hmm. because it is sharp and it is going to offend you because it goes right. against every right. grain of our right. little <laughs> of our flesh. And it's I two edged blade and swings both so ways too. I mean, that's the other offending cool people is the least of my worries because right. it's going to happen no matter what. That, the Bible offends me all the time. All right, right, and it sh- it should, Good. yeah, it absolutely should be offensive. It it's to tell a person, hey, you're going to go to hell if there's not a Christ. Yeah. That should be a little bit offensive, but it, it's it's still this story though that although that's there, 
there's this bigger story taking place of, you know, although if there's no Jesus Christ, you're going to go to hell, mm-hmm. but there is a Jesus Christ. Right. And he's offering a gift of grace, of eternal salvation through his death on a cross, and he goes to the Father on our behalf mm-hmm. so that we might have everlasting life through him. Amen. And, and, and you have to tell that whole story. But to just be scared about being embarrassed, there's um, a, a quote. And in, in these cases, to be honest, I think uh, the atheist can sometimes have a better understanding than the Christian. Um, uh, do you know, oh, I'm going to get his name wrong, Penjalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalal
all right, honest question time. Has there ever been a time that y- 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 you felt not qualified enough to minister to people? Not qualified enough. I would say... I, or, the, or what holds a person back on doing that? I mean, mine's embarrassment, just to be honest. I don't really enjoy being embarrassed because it happens a lot. It does. It happens a lot. I don't like it. Yeah. I don't. I haven't built up that. I've built up a little bit of the tolerance. I don't have shame. <laughs> there you go. I don't it, have the after it, effect. It's it different. I don't have shame, but it's for things I intentionally do. And if a person makes fun of me for a thing I'm not trying to be made fun of for, then that one's a little trickier, to be honest. Do I think that I've ever been not like equipped enough? I th- I would say at some point for mm-hmm. everyone there's that point. I mean, like, but I would say that's just growing up. I guess, up. all right, can I ask a personal question? Yes. When's a time that the, uh, there's a clear opportunity and you just didn't? And why? Um, let me think. I would say, yeah, I would say it was probably just due to, like, not even embarrassment, but, uh-huh. like, the person, it, like, ruining. I would say it's more... Thinking it's going to ruin my relationship with them. Okay. Which, I mean, in some cases, yeah, that can right. be the cost. Yeah. Uh, yes, correct. But even if it Spend has the a chamber boards, impact, you know, like, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> like you're, you're shuffling the deck. Yeah, there, exactly. Like, um, you know, it's. It, I would say that was, like, my main thing. Mm-hmm. And sure, I mean, well, I don't know. Embarrassment doesn't really play that yeah. much of a part for me personally, but... I would say, yeah. I mean, it's almost like you you got to do that every once in a while. Right. Just because, and even, I wouldn't even say it's like sharing the gospel, but even like just inviting someone to church. Right. Because and, once I mean, water gets like stagnant, it's I think it's mm-hmm. important to throw a pebble in there. Shake it right. up. Right. And, and, and I mean, that's important, but also, you know, all of us are the priesthood, of bel- I mean, all of us are ministers. All of us are mm-hmm. are. You, it's okay to just tell a person about the gospel too. Yeah. Um. It, to have, uh, to have the con or to have the strength to do that because Christ is doing the heavy stuff, and I think a good amount of times, you know, like Christian skits, all that kind of stuff, they tend to paint this picture of you tell a person about Christ, and they're gonna come to Christ, and everything's gonna be great, and. Hey, at the end, everything's going to be fantastic. And the truth is, it doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. And and there are going to be Not plenty of times. Of <laughs> no, well, yeah. I mean, there's going to be plenty of times that, you know, you go tell a person about Christ. Oh, I was on a mission trip. This happened to me. I I was so mad. I was a... Uh, I, I was I was um, almost at the top of the chain. I was almost in charge of this trip. There's only like two people above me. I had talked to this guy for 15 minutes about the gospel. Uh-huh. You know, I'd never... I I never I met this guy. I was pouring everything out, explaining the, the gospel. And he's like, "Uh huh, absolutely. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely, sure, sure." And then I got to that point, and I was like, "All right, time, uh, time to push the decision. Is this a thing that you're interested in committing to Christ at this point?" And he said, "Oh no." And I'm like, I, "I'm I'm sorry. What now? Because you haven't disagreed with anything I've said here. What happened?" He's like, I, uh, I just don't want that. I'm, 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 I'm too busy just trying to figure stuff out and trying mm-hmm. to live my life. And I was like, okay, all right, all right, <laughs> but do you understand? I'm talking about eternity here. I'm not talking about tomorrow or anything else. I'm talking about eternity. And he said, oh, no, no, I'm not interested. And he walked away. And I was so just, I was just like, uh, uh, the skits lied. The skits yeah. lied. <laughs> the skits lied to me, and I had to go talk to uh, my person. Said like, "Hey, so we'll let you know what happened. I'm a little jazzed up. Do you have a Snickers? I need a Snickers. <laughs> I need something to calm down because I'm freaking out because I just gave that man everything I had. He still said no. I think that's an important note too. I think that it's also like no matter how good you are at mm-hmm. communicating it. Which I'm sure 
you're gonna be way better than me. And I, was I think on that fire that day. I just want to let you know. But that's the I'm, thing is like bars. I don't know. It what doesn't that means matter. <laughs> that's the verse that you know where yeah. Paul is like talking about. You know, you you can sway people. You can't sway people. I right. mean, you can sway people with right. your fancy words, but it's almost like. Right. And I'm not saying you shouldn't communicate well, but I'm saying it is the power of God right. that right. brings people. You it, can you right, can do absolutely. all you want, and you can stutter. You mean like two words? Out I of your do, mouth. and <laughs> it could be like mm, Jesus, and then there'll be like I've done that one saved. too. Yeah. I mean like. And it, it's it's because it's not it's right. not in our in our power, and I think it's mm-hmm. good that you brought that up because yeah, there's times where it's just not it's gonna whiff. The time. It's yeah. like it's gonna whiff. I don't know how else to put it. It's gonna whiff, and it isn't because I've done anything bad or that God isn't effective. Heaven forbid we say that. Um, it's that at that point, that person they're not prepared to to submit to God. Right. Um, and that's up to God. But but the other thing is, uh, this isn't a cop out to do the thing Barna is kind of accusing millennials of doing and saying like, yeah, just don't do it. Like, no, 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 get in the game. Mm-hmm. It's time to get in the game. I mean, because uh, this is eternity. This is the perspective of eternity. This is um, eternal mm-hmm. implications. I mean, um, I mean, have I told the story of my a neighbor on the podcast yet? I don't think okay. so. I'm going to give the short version because also I think we're running out of time. Uh, yes. My neighbor died in a hunting accident. Wow. His dad <laughs> shot him. Killed him. Oh. Um, and yeah. I felt very selfish and guilty about it uh-huh. because I had been next to this guy for a decade and a half or about a decade, about a decade, mm-hmm. 10 years. Uh, he was my next door a neighbor. I was in head of the, I, I I was the head of the a uh, the audio v- visual at the church, mm-hmm. uh, president of the a youth group, which granted was just a title, but whatever. Um, yeah, you know I was plugged in. I taught there a few times, mm-hmm. and here's my neighbor who I never told about Christ. Uh, ever yeah. and then I just couldn't mm-hmm. that option wasn't there anymore yeah and that is is a thing although it it's I'm gonna be honest uh, that's the thing I have to carry until I see God face to face I mean really you don't have to well carry well it. no I I need to carry it. Yeah, I mean, I think it's like, good. I, I need to understand the implications of everything going on. That yeah. this is an opportunity that God put in my path, and I just didn't. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's the weight of this choice. Yeah, is people are dying, and I'm not just talking about in a physical context. I'm talking about the eternal death. People are dying. Yeah. And we are okay just letting them go. Yeah. So, you, you know, to yeah. these stats, to everyone tuning into this podcast, don't be a statistic. Go out there and get them in Jesus' name. I yeah. don't know how else to put that. Go get them in Jesus' name. Go be awkward. Go be annoying. Go do all the things. Be the person that God created you to be. Um, and tell people about Christ in the process. Mm-hmm. It's going to be awkward, but who really cares? Yep. Uh, because Get used to it. There's a whole <laughs> lifetime of that ahead of you. Exactly. So. If I have to choose between being awkward and being dead, I'll pick awkward. Yeah. Um, it's going to start at some point. Might as well just go ahead right. and start early. Right. I mean, don't be weird. Hey, who said? You know I mean, who said? <laughs> no, but we all know. <laughs> Jesus is a friend of mine. Oh my gosh. Go see Camp Mana. That song is in there. You'll know what I mean. It's a great movie. Have you? Oh, have you seen Camp, Camp Mana? Mana? Camp uh, Mana. No, I saw the trailer. We for need it. to. We need to watch that. Looked later. interesting. Yeah, it's really good. Um, and sorry. Any other thoughts on evangelism? Um, no. I mean, I would just say oh, I keep on moving. I away know. From my it's mic. like you forget we're doing. I said a show. I would just say that. Uh, 
the same thing you said. I mean, just get out there and let God use you and, you know, and know that it's, I mean, I think it is a privilege. I mean, it's, it's Absolutely. awesome. Like the one, okay, this, let me just, I can't wrap my head around this. I don't know if anyone else like has these, I, it happens at least like once a day for me, but like the creator of everything, we're able to talk to him, worship him, and he wants to have a relationship with us. I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. And Touch and like he, he lets us confidence. Yeah. And he Won't I die if I go there? Oh yeah. <laughs> Undoubtedly. He uses us. Uh-huh. Like he wants to use us in spite of our imperfections. Mm-hmm. And that is insane. Like put it into perspective and it's it makes it ten times more exciting. Right. And just remind yourself of that, like, daily. I mean, right. seriously. It's one of the things that's helped me. Like, all of existence is because of him, and we're able to communicate. Absolutely. With like, it's even more than communicate with yeah. him. I mean, it's just crazy. It's blowing my mind. I could go on about that right. for, like, tons. But, mm-hmm. I mean, it, yeah, get it, out there. It is an honor to communicate with God. This... This segue feels sacrilegious. Oh, gosh. Speaking of communicate. Oh, gosh. If you. (laughs) That is. That is. uh, That is the worst thing I could have said. Anyway, if you want to communicate with your two dumb hosts of Nobody Special. Yeah, seriously. Do you want to just like. Yeah, go ahead. Just back out of frame. I'll just wrap it up. If you want to communicate. If you want to check out. uh, I don't. Oh, God. I don't even say this part. This is the part that you say. Um, hey, check us. Give us five stars on iTunes or four, three or two, at me. No, um, no. Uh, so our show doesn't spend any money on advertising because I'm poor and cheap. Uh, mm-hmm. So other than that, you know, our please tell other people if if this is an episode that has been a blessing or a challenge in a good sense and not challenging to listen to in an auditory sense. Um, please tell other people, please yep. go ahead and share it to another person because I think this is a, a good, a message coming out of two nincompoops who yeah. like to tape way too late at night for some odd unknown, uh, reason. Yeah. Um, also, uh, uh, be sure and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and on our webpage at thegospelpost.com slash nobody special. Mm-hmm. Is that right? Sure. Yeah, we'll go for it. I'll redirect it. Don't worry. Uh, and, and if there are any questions, our show also does answer questions, and we yes, need we do. your questions. We so need throw you. them in or just tell us hi because we're vain, and what? that stuff makes our day. Yeah. So um, we need questions, and we'll do our best to answer all of them. Also, I think it's cool when you guys like participate almost in this. So like, if you have any... If you have an opinion, like, on anything we said or just, like, some cool thoughts that you had or even just feedback for us, send it. Like, seriously, mm-hmm. we are welcoming it. Like Yeah, or on Instagram. Instagram. Uh, comment emails, on our yeah. stuff. Comment your favorite part. Share it. Tell people. Uh, ask questions. We'll answer them. We're pretty accessible. Yeah. We don't do anything all day, and we have time to answer. <laughs> That's not Mainly true. Dan. I'm just <laughs> So, uh, I don't have a rebuttal for that. So, anyway, well, that's gonna do it for us today. Uh, I'm Danny, and I'm Caleb, and we are Nobody Special.